What's up, Virgo? This is Jesse with 44 Astro with a bonus mini reading for the super full blue moon coming up on August 30th. This is just the energy that's going to be leading up to this very powerful and rare full moon. It is a rare full moon because it is a blue moon and a super moon. A blue moon occurs once every 2.7 years when a second full moon occurs in a single calendar month. Also, a super moon means it's going to be 14% bigger in the sky to our view because it is in perigee with the Earth, which means in its orbit, which is elliptical, it is as close to the Earth as it can get. So it will appear very large. Therefore, it will have a much more of an effect on us as people. With that being said, it will also be conjunct Saturn, who will also be on his closest approach that he gets to Earth in his elliptical orbit. So we are definitely going to feel the energies of the great malefic planet Saturn, who will be conjunct that moon. They will also be, that conjunction will be opposite the sun. And if you are a Virgo ascendant, this will occur in your sixth house or your fifth house, depending on where it falls in uh, Virgo as your ascendant. It could be the very beginning of Virgo or the very end of Virgo. So we say sixth or fifth. We'll just go with six in general because it'll definitely be part of both, most likely. Sixth house is the house of your own personal health, of little fuzzy animals, and what it is that you're supposed to do service to the world. So those are the things that will be affected by this great malefic. And you'll probably, your whole inner world, and because it's in Aquarius where this conjunction will occur, your faith is going to be tested. All of us, it's going to be tested. Your beliefs are going to be tested. You know, what it is that you that you back, that whatever new you're trying to create, these things are ooh, right there, are all going to be tested. But it's really going to be your inner world and balancing that out with the way you express yourself to, in the outer world. And with that being in the sixth house, it could be with literal physical health in some way. It could be with mental health even because of the moons involved. It could be just emotionally feeling down or, or out or whatever. It could be due with your little fuzzy animals. It could be something to do if you have pets, something involving them. And I hope that's not the case. I have lots of pets and I love my babies. I don't want anything to happen to my babies. But of course, I don't have a Virgo ascendant, so I can't. That wouldn't. I have a, a, a Sagittarius ascendant, so it would be in a whole different area of my uh of my houses. Um, and, if it, and if it's in the fifth house for you as a Virgo ascendant, it's going to be more about to do with your self-expression. So it's going to be literally what I was already saying with just the general energies. It's just going to be felt even more. But yeah, this is a very, very powerful moon. I will do a, a legit full moon reading um, next week and I'll have it out before the 30th when the moon actually occurs. And I'll get into a little bit more of the energies and what astrology is going on and try to break it down as much as I can. If you don't know how to look up your ascendant, you don't know how to look up your natal chart, basically. I did a video a tutorial that shows that using my own chart as an example, how to go online and look up a natal chart, birth chart calculator, and look up your signs. Um, just so watch that. I'll link it in the description. It's a kind of long video, but there's a lot of good information in there for beginners about looking at what's strongest in a natal chart. You will need to know what time you were born. Down to within 15 minutes would be best because it, otherwise it's not going to be very accurate because the degrees do matter, as I explained in the video. Anyway, Virgo, let's get a, we're just doing a three card reading and we're going to pull one moon card and kind of get an idea of, oh, right there, the energies that are um, leading up to this for you. This is a powerful conjunction, powerful full moon. With it touching the moon and the sun, we're all going to feel it, especially with Saturn being as close as he can get and the moon as well. Look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. Okay, so something big you need to be looking at. All right, maybe you're focusing on the details too much and Virgos are very good at doing that. They're very, on average, if they're strong Virgo, they're going to be very detail-oriented, meticulous. Um, you got the Ace of Wands, the Chariot, and Temperance. So this is going to be, this is called the Daughter of the Reconciliation in this deck. And if you look, it's got uh, the sign of Capricorn and the sign of Scorpio being thrown into a pot and using those energies. But it's also got Sagittarius at the top. So this is going to, it's basically kind of giving you an idea of what part of the Zodiac it's in. So we're talking Scorpio, Sagittarius, that's uh, in uh, Capricorn, so that's kind of the its designation in the sky. You also have uh, the Lord of the Lord of Triumph, which is the Chariot, and we all know that's a Cancerian card, specifically the Sun and Cancer. And you have the Ace of Rods, which is the Lord of the Root of the Powers of Fire. So, looks like there's something kind of some kind of explosive energy happening here. This energy leading up, it looks like you're trying to use what you have available to like put something together to make something happen to move forward in some way and i think it's saying that 
you're focusing on too many of the minute details on whatever this is that you're trying to create, whatever this idea. It could be something physical you're trying to do with this card because it's a very fiery card. It could be physical, absolutely. Whether it's sports, um, sexual, it could be like racing cars, something like that. Though that's probably unlikely. It could be an issue with your vehicle that you're having to get fixed. It could be that you're trying to get a new vehicle, right? And you're trying to justify it, especially with the, the rates right now, the insurance rates and the APR rates and everything is just insane through the roof. Well, maybe not insurance rates. It depends on how good of a driver you are. But the APR is ridiculous. The Fed just keeps raising the rates, so it's to getting anything right now. And it could be something like that, like you're trying to get a new car. It's saying, look at the bigger picture. Like either maybe you shouldn't do it, even though you really want the car because the APR is stupid and it's going to put you in a bond. Or it's saying, hey, you really need it, so stop looking at the details too much and just take a chance and get it because you need it. It could be something like that. But these are just energies leading up. It's you know, it's trying to say balance out, balance out energies. And and with the sun and the moon conjunct Saturn, you know, you're gonna have to balance it out. And maybe you're gonna feel real fiery about something. You know what I mean? And it could be some kind of uh, situation to where, you know, it's explosive in some way, whether it be in anger or whether it be in uh, you know, attraction, that type of thing. It's saying think it out, look at the bigger picture before you act. Before you move forward, think about it, look at the bigger picture before you charge forward. Something you really want to move forward in, and it's saying you really need to balance things out first. And I would definitely wait till after this full moon before doing anything. Um, if you if you have no choice, but it's something you're doing that's big that you're, have, that you're trying to put together, uh, whether it be a business deal, anything like that, and you have to do it during this conjunction and opposition, um, think it through. Look at the big picture. Stay balanced because this is very powerful, detrimental energy to all of us. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I mean, if you have different specific natal uh, natal aspects that are going to be in those houses or in those signs and you know about them and they're going to be aspecting those natal uh, original natal aspects it can be even it can be rougher for you you'll probably feel it more um, for me it's it's going to be messing with my second house natally so money for me so i'm gonna have to deal with that it's gonna be fun but yeah um it looks like you just need to Look at the big picture before moving forward too quickly, because it's saying you're gonna you're something you're trying to move forward in quickly. You know you have you're passionate about it, but it's saying balance things first and look at the big picture before you move. But it looks like you're moving forward, whatever that may be. Hopefully this ties into what the actual full moon reading will be, and it'll be a much longer reading. This is just a mini bonus reading. All right, Virgo, consider Virgo, consider liking and subscribing. Uh, like I said, if you're a Virgo ascendant, this will be affecting your sixth or fifth house, and I explained what those were. Fifth house is self-expression. So when I was saying inner world, balance, expressing yourself and balancing yourself with the outer world, you know, your boundaries are going to be tested, your beliefs, your faiths. And, and in the outer world, it's going to test you to where like you have to demonstrate it in the outer world because it's the sun and then Saturn. So this is basically the devil in or Satan in astrology looking at God, which would be the sun or the son of God. And we're all going to feel it. So there's going to be a lot of balancing that has to go on for all of us. And if it has to do with your own personal physical health, you know, look at the big picture, balance things out, move forward, but do it with the big picture in mind. Okay, Virgo, consider looking up the um, astrology tutorial if you don't know your ascendant or your uh, moon sign or any of that. Consider liking, subscribing, commenting. Thank you for being here.